Francesco, thank you so much for bringing the colors to Hong Kong. Uh, could you tell us a bit about, about the show? So the show is a series of paintings that I've been painting over the last few years. And it talks about pieces that have been inspired by my Asia travels. So I try, push myself, I'm not a writer, I push myself very hard to write a few stories about these travels. And I'm showing an example of pieces that have been inspired. For example, you have uh, Bali, you have uh, India, you can see me lost in my, on my bike in Bali somewhere. Uh, you have a little bit of Singapore, Shanghai, different locations. What about this one? This one is Istanbul. Oh, so beautiful. Asia getting into Europe. Mm. Yeah. And you mentioned to me that you love uh, this painting right here. Could you tell us a bit more about, about this piece? Yeah, this painting is probably my favorite piece. And uh, it's a little bit older than the other pieces. It's 10 years older, 2009 compared to 2018-19. And it's a lot of places in Laos. This place in Laos became famous during the 70s. So the hippies at the time were doing a classic travel between London and Sydney. They would board something that they call the Magic Pass in London, and they go to all these hippie places in India, in Kabul. Maybe they were smoking some stuff, I'm not sure. And then they would stop at this location, including this place that's called Van Dieng. So what happens in Van Dieng still to now, they take you up river, and they give you a big tire, and you can stay in the tire and float down the river. Of course, optionally, you can take some stuff if you want, to make it a little bit more psychedelic. In the jungle, there are some parties. You see these people, you know, <laughs> jumping into the river, which is true, with some uh -huh. glasses and uh, you know, trunks. And then I came back, I went back to my guest house. And I opened a beer and I started drinking the beer and I saw all these guys keep coming and like maybe they lost their way or they were too partying too hard or too stoned or something. And this is my memory of that sunset. So if you see the real photo that I took from my balcony, mm -hmm. obviously it's very different. It's very dark. But in my mind, I remember the oranges of the sunset. I remember the greens when I was going around with a scooter in the next few days. And yeah, this is the piece. Absolutely, it's so so nice. Um, thank you, thank you so much for sharing it with us. And uh, until when is the exhibition? Can you remind the us? The exhibition is until uh, the fifteenth of November. 15th of November, okay, so I, I guess everyone in Hong Kong should visit, everyone right? Everyone must come. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Francesco. Thank you. So hi everyone, I'm Christy, I'm the art director of KC1. The interesting thing is there's not a whole lot of venue in this area, so what our aim and our goal has always been for this project is to bring life and culture into less well-known area in Hong Kong and we hope to bring art to the community. So what do you think about Francesco's show? Could you tell us a bit more so, about it? The show's title is Colors of Asia and we're really proud to have him at this time of the year because he definitely is bringing colors into this part of Hong Kong and we definitely hope more people can come and enjoy his show while it's still on and to share more of his vision, the way he sees the world. It's a colorful place, especially Hong Kong is a place that he's been residing in and he loves. So we definitely want people to come and enjoy the exhibition while it's on. And so this is it. I mean, hope everyone get a chance to come by and visit this particular exhibition while it's on. Thank you.